Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 4 of Terraria 1.3. I want to clear up some misinformation real quick. I, I looked at the changelog, I saw what I was talking about earlier. The money and dying thing. Uh, no, you don't lose money from your piggy bank. I don't know why I thought that. What they did is if you buy a piggy bank and you're purchasing things from an NPC, you can pull money basically from your bank when you're not there. So think of it like a credit card, as long as you are there, like I am the credit card and I go up to a vendor, I can buy stuff from my bank. <laughs> Makes sense. It's pretty cool, it saves some inventory space. I could buy one and bring it with me, it does let you carry a little bit more, but I don't really need it at this point, so I'm not going to waste the gold. Let's get rid of a few things that we won't be needing on our immediate journey. We'll quick stack this, because I thought I had lead. Oh no, I... Maybe, no, I didn't. Blocks. Where are you putting blocks? Eh, blocks, I'll put you in here for now. Bottles, you should have been in here. I don't know how that ended up there. Bombs, I'm bringing you with me. But anyway, last episode, we got Dylan back. Well, we got our guide back. <laughs> Amy spawned. She is the nurse. She can heal me. That's pretty useful. I uh, don't intend on getting hurt that often, but you never really do. Looks like I quick stacked my potions, so I'll take those out, and we're probably going to go caving again. Let me just check the merchant's shop. What do you got going on here? Nothing I really need at this moment. We have plenty of arrows. I could make a bunch more torches. Where's my gel? 66? Yeah, it would It would be a good idea to, to uh, go chop some trees down as well to get some wood. So we'll do that. So we'll get some wood before we go caving, just in case we're out of torches. I'm going to use the torches I have on me now to probably make some fire arrows, just because they seem pretty useful. I have all the iron in there. Um, I'm going to hold off on it for now. It's not really worth making anything out of it yet. There's not much I can make. We'll go amass some more. Probably after my next mining excursion, we'll have the resources we need. Let's, of course, get our saplings on here, our acorns, if you will. We'll just plant a few of these. Also discovered that sunflowers are awesome. Happy buff, movement speed increased, and monster spawns reduced. So that'd be a good idea to go around and find some uh, sunflowers just on the surface, plant around my base. There's no real negative I can see to that. Got my magic mirror up here. Let me kind of... I, I think my old inventory I always used to have, like healing pushing up their gel, glow sticks. I used to put my torches over here because you don't need them on your hotbar. If you just press shift, you can use them. We use dirt as a building block and we'll bring bombs. Bombs are fun. There are far too many bunnies here. Slay the bunnies! <laughs> Alright, bunnies are dead. Oh, I need that gel. Now, that gave me regular gel. It was green on the ground. I was kind of curious if you would get green gel. Because we have pink gel, but I'm going to make the assumption that that is unique to pinky. Something I would love to get would be the hook. Now, there's not much I can do to speed that up unless I find gems. Because you can make gemmed hooks. I think that requires 10. I don't even know why I'm bothering killing you. I think that requires 10 of that gem. Of course, you can find a an actual hook from a skeleton as a drop, unless they've changed it, which I don't think they did. Oh, I hate elevation and spears. Oh, you rat bastard. But anyway, I want to get a hook, grappling hook, so I can cave a lot better. It lets you grab on the walls and things like that. And for those of you wondering, I will try to explain some things as I play. Like, not... I mean, I want to explain it so some people who are new to the series, I guess, can watch and learn. So, if I explain silly things like what a hook is, and you already know. Like, if you watch any of my series, you know I know what a hook is, and you probably do too. But I like to explain the game to some new people. Because Terraria is amazing, and if you haven't played it yet, shame on you. I need to make fire arrows before I forget. Come on, let me just kill you. You die, sir. Thank you. Fire arrows, you are down here. Do I have to be near a crafting bench? No. Good. Man, you you craft so much faster. It's almost it's almost too fast, but I'm not going to say that, because I love being able to do that. I'll take this instead of making my own bookcase. You can use that as a crafting station later on for certain magic books. Like Crystal, was it Crystal Storm was one of them. That's, so it's a useful thing to pick up that bookshelf. Of course you can craft them, but I can save the resources and not do that. You are coming with me, sir. You just break you. So we'll take that dart trap. Now obviously, something we encountered last time we were here was traps. 
and that concerns me. Uh, I really wasn't expecting to find as many as we did. So, I also think the one that we walked into, I think the pressure plate was underneath a pot. So I don't know if there's much I could have could have done about that. I tried to make excuses, but I did not see it. Like, holy crap, that was so well hidden. Okay, this is going to be a little, little obnoxious, but if I can... There we go. Pit him to the wall. Stake him. Good to go. I have to watch out for traps. Moral of the story. Let's uh, place as many torches as we can just to keep everything lit. And I realize I have the miner's hat, but that helps me that helps me run away, I guess, in a pinch. With, so I don't have to keep lighting things up. But I don't want to just use the miner hat. I want to be able to come back down here one day. Shine potion is quite nice. That'll give me a light radius, which I already have. I don't know if that stacks. Maybe I should try it. Definitely worth using a shine potion. Okay, you are a little strong, and I don't like it. Down you go. So let's see here. Let's watch my light radius. Let's go somewhere dark. That's pretty dark. Definitely seems to have increased the radius. Whether or not it stacks... No. No, you can see. It doesn't stack. So the shine potion just gives you a bigger radius. Okay. Cool to know. Let's toss one of you down there. Alright, so I'm going back here and mining these sapphires, or diamonds. I think they're sapphires. They just look like sapphires to me. And we'll use a rope to get up there. Okay, you, you just stop spawning. And hopefully we can get up high enough that you won't hit me. Alright, and let's try to use this. Catch you on fire, catch you on fire. Come on. Really, is that a little bit of water? Yeah, it looks like that little bit of water may have been enough to put him out. Okay, you're about dead. Just just go down. Come on. Let me mine in peace. Okay, so we'll dig our way up. And I think I will just dig my way into the ceiling completely. And we'll walk around up there. So let's just keep putting ropes up here. Can't wait to start using these bombs. Okay, got to deal with the worm here. I'm watching you, sir. I'm watching you. Nope, nope, nope. I got ready for him. Come on, worm. Just just come at me. All right. No. Oh, can we get up there? We can. I want to see what's up in this area. Worm? No. Ah, oh, I got stuck on the wall here. Come on, worm. He's being a jerk. Ugh. How much did we hit him? Almost killed him. Got him. That's one annoyance taken care of. Now, let's see. Are these sapphires? I believe they are. Cool. So... I don't remember the exact amount of gems that you require to make the gemmed uh, hook. We'll find out here. We can, you can show an item to a guide. I, I didn't show this off yet, but I will. You can show any item. Ooh, I'm glad I came up here. There's a chest. You show any item to a guide, and basically he will show you any recipe that is possible with that item. Uh, do I want to flood the cave below me? This, what this is going to do is the water is going to flow down there. I think we'll be okay if I do. I was considering blocking it off, but let's just get rid of it. Probably gonna break that torch. Oh no, we're good. So, the jellyfish might come through here. You gotta be careful about that one. You can't swim in Terraria. You can get flippers and things like that that let you swim, but by default you cannot swim, so uh, consider that when messing around in big pools. Because I can go bad really quick. Okay, can I get a glow stick up there? Barely. There is a surprisingly large amount of water in here. Oh good, oh good god. I love the new water physics though. The old water physics where it was kind of blocky as it fell. <laughs> it was a little bit janky. They did a really good job on it. Okay, now you really should be able to come after me. Oh, we'll be beached him. Beached him. Wow, look at all the water in here. Okay, let's get under the slime. Under the slime, I say. There we are. No, slime, just go down. Pain in my butt. Too bouncy. Too flamboyant. Alright, so free glow sticks. Got a corruption statue. And what do we have here? I have claws. Uh, we can combine these later on. I'll put them in my, like, uh, vanity slot. Just so I can carry extra. Danger sense, but oh my god. So let me see traps. And, and spider webs, but traps is what I'm interested in. Uh, you can combine the claws later on 
with, I think, is it the Tinker's Workstation? I think that's what it's called. You combine a bunch of accessories later on in the game, so it's very useful to keep your accessories. Don't junk them just because you found, like, an upgrade. Look at that. You know there's a trap there. I have no idea if that is supposed to be a pressure plate or not. Let's, uh, take some platforms over here. See what we've got going on. I will drop some ropes down here. That statue doesn't do me much good, but why not? Just take it. I don't know if maybe they changed it. Who knows? Oh, so that's the pressure plate for this. Okay, so now that's not going to fall on my head. We could just trigger it. Let's, let's, uh... Maybe we can just break it. Look, there's like a cave above my head now. All this caving. Let's just break that. Alright, so... Nah, let's, let's try to go upwards while we have the Danger Sense Potion on. Just because that ought to save me some headache. I want to jump down in the water. There we go. Try not to break my legs. So let's use this to hopefully not step on another trap. Like last time. Get some torches placed here. So, my opinion, it's a better idea to put the torches on the ceiling where possible. Because like you saw the water that flowed, uh, that flowed down here, it broke it all. So if you put it on the ceiling, eh, it saves you some headache later. You never know when you're going to let a lot of water through. And, oops, I don't need to do that. Don't, don't waste your torches. So what do we got over this way? Uh, uh, can I get it? Kind of? Yeah, close enough. So I'm just going to jump down here. That purple stuff, uh, that should be demonite ore. So that's a good find. I cannot mine it yet. You need a, I believe, I don't even think a gold pick I can do. If I remember correctly, it was a nightmare pick. So we have to wait a little bit before we can pick that up. I can try. Maybe the gold pick can. The gold pick can't mine Ebstone. I think that's the catch. Plus, of course, they've changed that. A lot of that could have changed. There are so many jellyfish. <laughs> There's jellyfish everywhere, man. I want this lead. Because we're pretty close to getting ourselves some armor. It also looks like we have rubies right here in the water. Let's take a look at those. Looks like rubies to me. Let's see. Yeah, that's definitely a ruby. So mine the gems while you can. Gems are fairly rare. They're not like obnoxious or anything. They're more common in the jungle, which is an entirely different biome, of course, but mine them when you see them. At least in my opinion. There's, there's a bunch of different uses for them. And I'm getting like juggled around, get my ass kicked because of elevation. Because this block right there, there we are. I was blocking a couple of my hits, I think. Doro! Down you go. Let's put that on the ceiling. There we are. Break those because they're apparently more useful in expert mode. And I'm trying to get the most out of my danger sense potion. However, did I put ropes? Yes, I did. I was just making sure I had an escape route. Because slimes, man. I don't have armor to deal with you guys. Can't wait till we get some damage reduction against these dudes. That's gonna help out immensely. Ah, so so is a better weapon. It's so annoying how I can't really deal with elevation right now. <laughs> Careful there, slime. You're you're freaking me out. All right, put this on the ceiling. That is a big chunk of ore. That makes me quite happy. There's some tin here. There's some webs. Throw that over there. Ooh, there's more. There's quite a bit of ore over here. We need more ore. I will use a platform to save me some trouble here. So we're gonna mine all this lead ore. Yeah, we're pretty close to a suit of armor. Maybe not an entire suit, but definitely some, some important pieces. And then we can start upgrading some tools. Maybe get a better bow. Or at the very least, make a broadsword, a lead broadsword. Something that's better than the spear. I, I don't like the... I never liked spears. I've always liked melee weapons that had an arc on them. And that's what the broadswords are for. Ooh, what do we got going on in this cave? Anything interesting? Just uh, put that there. No, looks like a bunch of pots. And there's some spider webs to our left. There's some blue light at the very bottom left. Probably a jellyfish. How many ore do we get? How much ore? Wow, 53. Awesome. Alright, these slimes, I need to dispatch you. Get dealt with. Get dealt No, don't come up here. Don't deal with me. No. No. Get back here, worm. I tried to kill you, but I was dealing with slimes. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. You're such a pain in the butt to wait for. 
Oh, I was gonna jump down there. I, I messed that one up. I messed that one up too! Alright. That is one piece of demonite ore. What do we have down in this cave? Down you go. Nothing in there either. Let's uh, build our way up with ropes, because physics. <laughs> now we have ourselves a way out. And yeah, I see the tin here, but there's not too much point in mining it. That. Now that is probably silver. They changed the textures of a lot of the ores. Even the hard mode ores, I believe, got a texture rescan. So from what I can tell, that's probably silver. I doubt it's a platinum vein. Let's take a look. Hopefully we can mine it. Should be able to. But I'm definitely going to get this lead. Okay. I'll mine the lead just kind of jumping up into it. That way I don't have to build a platform. Alright, slime. You need to get dealt with. So I can gain access to hopefully what's a bunch of silver. Alright. Okay, it should be easy if I can get underneath you. And stab you from up above or up underneath. Because like, slimes can't hit you if you stay underwater. Because they usually don't go down deep enough. There we are. Get dealt with. What do we have up here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, I can't wait till I get the flare gun. That's what I'm missing in my life. I, I've been holding shift and then throwing uh, glow sticks, and it, it just kept reminding me of something I used to do all the time. The flare gun is so good. So basically, you shoot a flare, and it's slightly arced. It's pretty straight with a slight arc. And then it sticks to the wall, just like wherever. And I would just go down to caves and spam. Oh, I loved it. They're like glow sticks in the sense that they don't stay permanently, so keep that in mind. But the convenience of them far outweighs that problem. Where are you, Mr. Worm? That was a quick kill, and I'm okay with this. There's a goldfish down there. That's okay, I'm not, I'm not really worried about you. Is that tin ore over there? I don't know. We'll take a look. Let's just make sure I have ropes. Hey, uh, do you guys want to come back up here? What? Yes, I'm, I'm right here. Come after me, bro. No, you magnificent asshole. <laughs> you saw what I was trying to do there. All right, now you shouldn't be able to get me. Come over here. No, 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 no. Well, I tried. <laughs> you can use bombs, obviously, to blow up enemies, but I like to use them for breaking blocks. It saves time when you don't want to mine certain things. That was gold. That's a good find. Gold is one tier above silver. Kind of silly when you think about it, when gold's a really soft metal. But, this is a game, and I don't care. Because I love it. And I will forgive it. <laughs> so you can make staircases out of your platform, that's just what I did. For no particular reason. But, let's go ahead and... I'm going to get rid of that mud block, because it's going to take up inventory space as we mine. Just turn into a desert biome all of a sudden. Holy crap. <laughs> Stupid beach jellyfish. They're so dumb. There's some more lead at the bottom of that pool. Uh, I kind of want to get it, because it looks like a good bit. What I can do is this. This will save me some headache. Yeah, okay. And I will lower ropes down. And now we're going to go get that. All right. Don't turn evil on me, Mr. Goldfish. Right? No, is it Blood Moons or whatever? Goldfish can turn into, <laughs> can turn into mean little bastards. So, uh, watch out for that. I'll let the water through and I'll throw a glow stick. There's a wee bit of silver there. Just a touch. Yeah, worth it. I have to be careful that I don't drown, obviously, but there is an air pocket here. Air pockets are very easy to make, and they're very useful. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But look at that, silver ore. What are we at for silver? 37? 38 now. Now we're at 39. That is not enough to make much of anything, but it's a good start. Alright, goldfish, I'll kill you because I'm a jerk. And I could go for some glow sticks. Silly beach jellyfish. Our danger sense potion is going to wear off. Uh, if I'm going to continue this, I feel like we should just use it. Yep, the other one. We did get two. I'm going to make a bunch of those when I go caving. I'll figure out the recipe, and yeah. Th at least with how the adventure started. They seem really useful. I mean, they were in the game previously, but I never came across that many traps. I hear another worm. Oh, I almost guessed right. He was a little bit above where I aimed. Down he goes. OK, 
Okay, so worms are jerks. Okay, there is quite the drop here. So let's do this. <laughs> Put a lot of ropes here. Eventually, you'll get so geared up that ropes are just like for noobs. And you'll be able to jump those big distances. But today's not that day. And I love ropes. And I will enjoy them for what they're worth. For weight in gold. Can you imagine? I mean, I, I, I remember before ropes were... <laughs> <laughs> or in the game, can you imagine caving without ropes? How you had to build your way up and down with blocks, like make staircases? It was so annoying compared to ropes. Ropes were such a good addition to the game. I'm mining all of this. And after I mine this, I'm popping that danger sense potion. No way am I forsaking that blessing. Alright, let's just mine all you. I do like how this thing seems to prioritize ore, like the smart cursor. That's very nice. Instead of mining like dirt first, it's a, it's a useful, <laughs> useful mechanic. And we're popping that danger sense potion, so we know there's quite a bunch of. Uh, there could be a spider nest over there. I don't know. So let's go down here. We have to be careful because uh, holy slime family. They just all kind of skedaddled. More gold. Put a torch there, and I will put a torch here. And hello, silver vein. You're silver, right? You look like silver. I have to figure out the new textures. I mean, I know we saw it already. But I'm so used to telling the difference between silver and platinum. It's so engraved in my head what the old textures were. Oh, that's a bat. Hopefully we don't find out what the new debuff is. Ugh. Be careful. Yes, you were silver. I'm not crazy. Uh, okay, we've been over it. I'm crazy, but... At least I know, my, at least I know what my ores look like. Don't criticize me. How many ores are we sitting on? 50 some odd silver. Already a stack of 116 iron. Plus 31 bars at home? Oh yeah, we're due for a set of armor. Whether or not it's going to help me that much, I don't know. Looking at the defense statistic there at the bottom right, it says I have two. But this is one, this is one. Oh, okay. I forgot. You only get the bonus from the uh, the armor for the wood set if you wear the whole set. For some reason, I thought that that should have said two, and I thought that they were counting def defense differently, but no. That's just a drip on my behalf. Thankfully, I can kill you through that little gap. That saves me some heartache. Awesome. Another danger sense potion. Sweet. I like me some danger sense potions. And there's another uh, vein of iron here. It's looking like it's a pretty good idea to head home. I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. I, I know we just popped that Danger Sense potion, but uh, I can make an entire set of armor here. And that's going to help me. We're going to get rid of... Oh, yeah, we're going to get rid of our gold, our miner hat. But I can make do with torches. I light up all my caves anyway. I'm very used to not using it. So let's do that after we get that gold over there. Unless, of course, I see another thing that catches my eye. One game, don't, don't, just let me, <laughs> don't, don't distract me. I'll put these all the way up here. We'll get rid of that. I turn smart cursor off. Smart cursor is good, but sometimes it gets a little bit annoying because I forget about it. There's some silver there. I don't see any like loot cave things. Okay, what we got up there? I'll grab some cobwebs because you can make a bed out of them. You make silk first and then you make a bed. That lets you relocate your spawn point. That's a useful thing to do, obviously. And it has to be in a house. Unless they've changed that. It has to be in what's considered NPC housing. So... Ooh, something just died on my left. Uh-oh. Things are dying. Things are dying. And I need armors. Alright, silver. I said we are going to stop with the gold, but can we get greedy? What are we looking like over here? Uh. We're getting the silver, we're getting out of here. It doesn't look like there's too much over there. I will use the magic mirror to teleport home. Or maybe... Do I, ha I have the recall potions on me. I want to try them. I don't think I've ever used them. So let's do that. Recall potion. Oh. Yeah, I did. I thought I put them away. So it is the same. It even makes the same sound as the magic mirror. Now I know. Awesome. Alright, so... Silver brick, gold brick, nah... Oh, we can already make a silver sword. Oh, man. Don't. Quit tempting me. We can make a gold Stop tempting me! Did they lower the cost? 
What's it require? Only seven? That feels like they've lowered the cost. So it's two damage buff over that. It might be worthwhile to hold off for the gold pick first. Um, let's just make a whole bunch of silver bars, see what we can get with that. All right, silver broadsword. Let's make a bunch of our lead bars. Hello, armor. And then, of course, we should... Can we craft from the nearby chest? We should be able to make iron armor. Glass kiln is pretty cool. So, lead chain, 3, 3, and 2. So that's way more defense than I'm sitting at. What's this require? 20? We only have 22. Yeah, that requires a ridiculous amount of silver. Let's just be happy for now with iron armor in the helmet and we'll put the boots on. I didn't have enough, it looks like, to make the chest, but yeah, for some reason it doesn't look like it was pulling from that chest. So now I should be able to make the chest piece. All right, let's just equip this. Yeah, yeah, look at that, 11 from two. That's going to help out, that's going to help out immensely. I, I am happy. So, I'll put the lead in here, lead ore. We're gonna kind of have a some sort of sense of organization going on. It's a bunch of silver. <laughs> I forgot when it rains the goldfish walk around. So goofy. We will sell this stuff back to the merchant. I am gonna plop that down just for now. Come here, buddy. You wanna buy? Oops. Buy that and that and that. I don't even think. Yeah, they have no value. So he doesn't pay you money for them. Platinum chandelier. Can't reach up there. Hey, Amy, do you want a platinum chandelier? The nurse has some mean dialogue. She's not very nice. Is the old man pacing around the dungeon? Oh, I guess we have to... Turn your head and cough. Shall I talk about the old man at the dungeon because we haven't freed him yet? That is the uh, the old man from the dungeon. That's the Skeletron boss. We're nowhere near ready for that, so... Hold your horsies. I will stack these. We'll keep that stack on my person at all times. Danger Sense Motion I'm keeping. That's very, very useful. I know, Potion, I'll bring one of you for my next caving adventure. Gold chest, we'll plop it down here. No big deal. And then the gems, yep, let's put them in here so we have some semblance of organization. I have a trap in here, so let's do the quick stack. Only problem about that is it put away all my lesser healing potions. Oh, that's right, they also made it so things on your hotbar don't get stacked when you deposit all, if I'm not mistaken. So I could do that to save some trouble. Uh, that is a block. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> almost done. A lot of the game is indeed dealing with your inventory. Uh, you want to hoard resources like nobody's business. Put that in here. Silver ore. I feel like you should have been stacked, but no, I didn't have a stack of ore. That's looking good. Pink gel. I'll keep in case I find like some dynamite or something. But that looks good. We have ourselves like full set of armor. I could make a silver weapon. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not going to hold off for gold. Gold's going to take a little bit. We're going to make a gold pick first anyway. Silver broadsword. That's going to be a huge upgrade. I will sell this thing, which is probably not worth much. Two silver. Ooh, we got the murderous roll. So we have plus 9% damage, plus 5% speed, plus 3 crit. That's cool. You can get some, like this one, you can get bad rolls to just make the item really poop. So, that's good. Let's see. You can hold click it down. I know they buffed the Terra Blade. You can hold it now and just auto-click with it. So this thing is going to make fighting a lot easier. Alright, Goldfish, I'll, I'll just leave you be. I mean, you figured out how to walk on land. It's just wrong of me to off you. <laughs> flying fish, no, I don't like you. I, I don't like flying fish. Come here, flying fish. So we're doing quite a bit of damage with this new thing. I like it. Alright, guys, it's time to wrap it up again. <laughs> it was That was quick, huh? Episode 4 of Terraria 1.3, we are getting quite a ways down, and if you see right here, I'm zoomed like way in, that's a separation in biomes. That is, we're at the cave layer, I think, it's either the cave or the underground, either way we're at the next layer, so we're going to be encountering some new enemies here. This is where we can find the skeletons and find our hook. Yes, yes, I'm going to wrap it up here guys, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.